Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I'm back on my deck. I'm back to my, my place and my space for this sacred time together, this uh, holy time to gather um, via this live for a time to reflect and to think a little more deeply about our relationship uh, to faith. Thank you all for being here. To Dave, Judy, I'm uh, so glad to have all of you here uh, participating. Camille, good morning to you, Sonia and Lowell and Dorothy. Thank you. Um, for being here and to everyone who is here thank you so much for for joining and sharing in this time once again today the the focus text that we're looking at is going to be from uh, the book of Exodus chapter 19 and we're going to share in the story of verses of 1 through 26 uh, this morning I mean 1 through 6 not 26 1 through 6 it's right there in the, the title for this video uh, good morning Hildy thanks for joining us so once again Exodus 19 verses 1 through 6 will be the focus of our devotion today um, but before we get to that reading, let us uh, first open our time together here uh, with a word of prayer. So let us pray. A holy and gracious God, uh, we give you thanks that in and through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, you, you make it known to us that we are uh, your treasured ones, your beloved ones. Uh, may that be on our hearts today. May we be reminded of it, um, that that is who we are. May that empower us uh, to be your holy ones in this world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So a uh, question I want to, to begin with this morning. Um, what, is, you know, what is your most treasured possession? What's something that you have that is truly, truly special to you? And if you want to share share what the what that is or what those things might be, um, then I encourage you to share them in the in, in the comments this morning, so that we all might uh, kind of know what is what is truly special to you. But what got me thinking about that is that Aaron and I we sat down to to watch uh, one of our our favorite movies the other night. It's a movie that's called Amelie, and perhaps you have seen it. And if you have seen it, you can sure click that like button, that heart button down there on your screen. Um, but there's a scene in that movie where Amelie discovers this this box uh, in the wall, this little tin box, and she she takes it out and she opens it up, and it's it's full of these little things, the, like little toys and pictures and letters. Um, and so after finding that, what that does is she, it, it sets her on this journey to try to uh, reconnect that box with whoever had left it there. And when she figures out who it is and, and she's able to do that, to give the box back to this, to this gentleman and he opens, his up, opens it up and he's moved to tears as he's reconnected with these, these treasured possessions of his, these toys, these pictures, and these letters. And I think often we do, you know, in our lives, own lives, we have things that are, that are truly special to us, that we treasure. Um, whether it's a, you know, a childhood toy, blanket, a stuffed animal or doll, uh, you know, maybe a, a first car or first guitar. And perhaps it's, it's, it's a family heirloom. And that has been passed down from generation to generation. But when you think about it, um, it's not really the item that makes it a treasured possession, but, but rather what that item makes us, how it makes us feel, what it makes us feel, right? The memories that are associated with it. That's, that's what makes that thing uh, a truly treasured possession, how it makes us feel. And that's what I want to explore in our devotional reading this morning. As I said, the reading is from Exodus chapter 19. We're going to read verses 1 through 6 uh, together. So if you want to go ahead and grab your Bible, get yourself set and ready to go, um, I'm going to do just that. So I'm going to grab my Bible and I'm going to read with you verses 1 through 6 from Exodus 19. So here we go. On the third new moon, after the Israelites had gone out of the land of Egypt, on that very day, they came into the wilderness of Sinai. And they had journeyed from Rephidim, entered the wilderness of Sinai, and camped in the wilderness. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. And then Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob to tell the Israelites, 
You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, you, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession out of all the peoples. Indeed, the whole earth is mine, but you shall be for me a priestly kingdom and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the Israelites. You shall be my treasured possession. Indeed, the whole earth is mine, but you shall be a priestly kingdom, a holy nation. Now, these are words, um, powerful words for the Israelites to hear, especially since they've just come out of Egypt, have just escaped that captivity. Um, and they're words that convey, right, that convey really God's love, God's care for them, God's concern about them. Really, they convey you know, how God feels about them. And that's why God says they are a treasured possession, right? Because of how God feels, the, feels about them, that God loves and cares and is concerned about them. That's why they're treasured. But I think it's also important uh, that to, to also remember that we hear how God not only cares and loves and you know, sees them as, a treasured, as treasured ones, but also that out of that, that is a calling to a new life. We also hear then about the, the new life that God calls the people to, to be, you know, God's holy ones in this world. And so, you know, this morning I want us to be reminded of that we are all treasured possessions, just as we are. And we are treasured ones, just as we are, um, for exactly who we are. I mean, that you and me, we are the ones whom God loves and God is cares for, God is concerned about. And it's out of that, that knowledge, out of that promise, right, that God loves us for who we are just as we are, that then we are able to, to, to embody this, this new life that God calls us to. Right? Really, it's, it's a life in which we are, the treasured ones become the ones through whom God is revealed. You know, through our own love, our own care, our own concern for others. You know, God's, uh, the fact that God treasures this world is made known. Right? And after all, that is, you know, God truly treasures this world, right? For God so loved the world. I mean, that's how God feels about you and me and about the entirety of creation. And so do you trust and believe? You know, trust and believe that you, you are God's treasured one. Treasured just as you are, no matter what. Now, by knowing that all the earth is God's treasured place, might that change then how you, how you engage the world? How you see it? How you see and engage others in the world? Right? Knowing that you are God's treasured one. How might you live out that holiness? How might you live it out today in your life? Well, I want to thank you all for, once again, for sh sharing in this time with me. I, I truly, I treasure this opportunity to, to gather with you, to be with you, um, and to share with you. So thank you for, for being with me and sharing with me this morning, for joining with me in this, this moment. Oh, tiny piece of glass yeah right and it reminds you of dining at sunday dinner right so those items they are treasured because of how they make us feel yeah the, the cross your uncle gave you dave great wonderful well i hope uh today that you that you know you are treasured that you are god's beloved one i want to bring our time uh, this morning together uh close it with a, a word of prayer so let us share in that Almighty God, you reveal to us through Christ that we are your beloved ones, your treasured ones in this world, and that all the world, that it belongs to you, that it's treasured by you. May this knowledge, may this belief rest deeply in us. May we know it fully that we are your treasured ones, and may that inspire us. Right, to see this world as a treasured place, to see all people as treasured ones. May it guide and inspire us then to show our own, show your love 
to this world uh, through our own care, our own concern uh, for our neighbors. We give you thanks for the gift of Christ and all the love that you pour out through him into this world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> well, thank you all for... Uh, oh, she used it for toothpicks. <laughs> that sounds fantastic, Dorothy. Well, once again, thank you for being here. Um, and I hope today that you are reminded and that you do know that, that you are God's treasured one. And that God loves you just as you are. And that as you go about your life, that God's grace, uh, God's mercy, God's forgiveness... They go with you always and forever. Uh, God bless you all, and God's peace be with you this day and always.